Tailored sweatpants, they're attacking the legs of men across America. The question is, gotta think of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, we're gonna just try to be really frank with you here. You gotta do this shit right. Tailored sweatpants, it's a thing, right? Fall 2014 is where we just saw it go wild. Michael Lockley, what do you think about tailored sweatpants? Are you into it? It's actually pretty dope that I'm wearing them right now. I feel comfy. I represent <laughs> Cool. As this trend has sort of taken off, you see some guys doing it right and some guys doing it wrong. So I wanna get your advice. What is the difference between slim and just like too tight? Not oversized so that you look like you're wearing a pair of dad sweatpants. Right. Also, you don't want them to be so tight that they look like tights. Right. Every once in a while, you'll see that and you're like, ooh. The other thing I'm seeing is guys who are trying to wear them outside of like, you know, going to the bodega. <laughs> they're kind of ratty. If you're buying them from us, they're, that's not the case. They're going to hold up. <laughs> yeah, they'll hold up. What's the key to avoiding like weirdness in your zone with sweatpants? You definitely want to avoid weirdness in your zone with sweats. <laughs> that can be a big time problem. Almost have a little bit of like a strong drop down, slouchy, top block, if you right. will. Super tight through the calf and ankle. Yep. Not so much on that top half. So guys, everyone loves shopping online. I love shopping online, but if you're buying a new brand of tailored sweatpants, please try them on first. What kind of underwear? Personally, always go boxer briefs. Preferably like microfiber so you can breathe. It's right, comfortable. Right. Like spend a little bit of extra money. Yeah. Get your setup. Get your set up with a setup. Priorities, man. <laughs> the stack. Can you can you explain that? And Michael, maybe you can help Help us illustrate. Thank you, sir. We engineer all of our French Terry to be super thick. It's comfortable, of course, but right. it has the ability to stack just like denim. Sag them a little bit and maybe pull them up on your ankle yeah. a little bit so they, they sort of bunch up. And if you find them with the right material, then they'll stay like that. Right. You know, there's nothing worse than like having to re kind of engineer that all day long. So that's why, right. you know, it's good to buy something that kind of holds its form a little bit. Something sturdy. Yeah, something sturdy. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you got any style questions for GQ, leave them in the comments, and we'll see you next time.